This is a demonstration of how to get a cluster off a, a rear hub as opposed to a cassette off a rear hub. Uh, up until about 1980, all bikes had clusters and now only the very cheapest ones have clusters. We take the quick release skewer out and each different brand of cluster has a different cluster removing tool. And this one has two notches that fit into two notches in the cluster itself. So we put the, the tool on there and we've got to put a spanner on here and undo the cluster off the hub but we need to lock the tool on very firmly. We have another longer skewer handy especially to do that with and we put that through put the cluster removing tool in there, I've got plenty of thread wind the nut on make sure it's tight just unscrewing it like that then we have to loosen off the skewer because it's holding the tool on too tight and then it should be just finger tight from there. Take the skewer nut off. And just wind the cluster off using the tool. And just comes off like that. you can see there that the thread inside the cluster matches that thread there and then you can have you can just test the free wheel by holding the inside of the, the body and it's fine we're going to put the cluster back on and we need to put some some sort of thread prep on this thread before we screw the cluster on. For many years we just used grease, but now we use something like this product, in this case Shimano Anti-Seize. It just means that if someone needs to get this cluster off again sometime in the future, it'll be a bit easier. We've got dissimilar metals here. We've got a, a steel cluster body going on to an aluminium hub. And uh, it's just good practice to to use something like that. Then we're just going to wind the, uh, the cluster back on. Being careful not to cross thread it. Obviously if you're able to put it on just with your fingers like that, it must be okay. We get it to that point, we can't get any tighter with fingers and we use a chain whip so we need to lock it on fairly tightly so that when the person gets back on the bike they don't lock it on when they pedal. We put the quick release skewer back in and put the springs on. and put it back in the bike. That's it.